and now just my question for you is uh what banks do you use for savings and checkings and would you recommend those for me all right so thing is by the way do you have any debt right now uh no all right so awesome so stay, stay out of debt but overall when you talk about the savings accounts and the best one out there you're basically talking about like pennies and like little dollars, right? Because the reality, whether you get 1% or 1.25% or 1.33%, is not actually going to make you wealthy. What you're looking for is basically security, FDIC insured, and so on, and also convenience and a bank that you actually like. Now, the bank I use is called SoFi Money. It has for it's at, it's at competitive rates, but it's not always going to be the best because there's always competition. And by the way, new banks that come out always want to say, Hey, we have a higher rate. Then you go over there. Then two months later, they don't have the highest rate anymore. Right? You want to look, you want to look for a bank that you actually like and you actually enjoy. So for me, that's called SoFi money. And the cool thing with SoFi is that basically say, for example, you get paid a paycheck, right? You can actually create sub accounts saying like, Hey, this money right here is for emergencies for my car maintenance or vacation or whatever it is, right? You can put that money into different accounts, like within the same account, and that way your money is separate. Like creating little pies for your money. That's what I like so much about it. And on top of that, you get $1.5 million in FDIC insurance, which most people don't need, including me. But it's good to know that as, as you keep growing your money and your wealth, you'll have like that access to it. But as far as the savings accounts though, you only really need to have in there around three to six months of emergencies and that's it and like long-term savings goals, but that's all you need. So whether you get, for example, 1% or 1.22% is not going to make a difference. However, what you invest into is going to make the most difference. Got you. So um, your savings and your checkings both go with SoFi Money? Yes. Yes. So basically okay. what happens is SoFi Money is the account where all my money is received and then distributed across everything, right? So once the money is inside there, I can go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to use Chase for my daily um, like spending and so on. And then all the rest of the money gets like invested and so on. So it's not really like it's just investments and so on. But my tickets check-ins is basically with um, Chase is more convenient. They have more ATMs around and that's why I use them. Oh, okay. And there's also cash right. deposits.